Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Happy Tuesday, family. We are in the book of Proverbs all this week at Hope for Today. This whole entire book of scripture that was given to you and I to help navigate our lives according to the wisdom of God, the wisdom of the gospel. Proverbs is your friend, Billy Graham, the great one. Uh, read literally every day whatever devotional passage he would have been in, but he would also read a psalm and a proverb every morning. Billy said that he did this for over 80 years of his life every single day. And my point is this, it worked out pretty well for Billy Graham. Maybe it'll work out well for you and me too. I'm in Proverbs chapter 18 again, and I wanna look at verse 13. It says, if one gives an answer before he hears, it is his folly and shame. I'm going to read that again. And when I read Proverbs 18, 13, ask the Holy Spirit to embed this truth into your soul. It says, if one gives an answer before he hears, it is his folly and shame. Now, it's self-explanatory what Solomon here is suggesting to us. He's talking to us about the importance of listening, the priority of of patience, uh, the wisdom of not jumping into a conversation and jumping into an issue and jumping into a response before you allow yourself to process what's happening and to prayerfully consider as to how God would have you respond. The old folks used to say it this way, there's a reason that the Lord gave you two ears and only one mouth. And they use that to speak of a metaphor that maybe you and I would serve better the gospel and serve better our spouse and serve better our kids and serve better our friendships and relationships and serve better our coworkers where we to invest way more time listening to others than we do speaking to others. Notice the warning. If you don't wait till you hear and listen and process what's going on in that conversation and in that issue, the Bible says it leads to your folly and your shame. Folly is another word for um, foolishness, right? And shame therein. And so I just want to encourage you today. If you can be that person who has been labeled as uh, quick to the draw, and you can be labeled as a person who tries to fix more than you try to feel. You have been labeled as the person who can't really be seen as a safe place for people to vent and share and process out loud. Maybe it's because in the words of the prophets run DMC, you talk too much. Oh boy, you never shut up. Maybe the spirit is saying to us, what would it look like to not be labeled as one who talks too much, but rather to be appraised highly as one who listens extremely well. That's my prayer for myself today. And that's my prayer for you. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.